afternoon, everyone. Um, since it's another beautiful day here in Palmy, I thought I'd take you back into my backyard and I'm going to take you through some exercises to do with your lower leg and your feet. Okay, so um, I guess we find ourselves a lot of the time um, wearing shoes, but we've just got to be mindful that we have um, lots of small muscles in our feet that we need to keep strong as well. So whenever you get the chance or you're in a safe environment, it's quite nice just to take those shoes off and just feel the muscles in the feet work as you walk around. Okay, so um, let's just find a place um, standing up and we're just going to roll up onto the ball of the foot and then roll back onto the heels. Oops, that's a bit of a balanced one. And take it up and then roll back onto the heels with the toe numb. And let's just do a few more of those. Now, um, what we're going to need for today is just an old towel. Um, I've got some marbles here, but just any small objects that your feet can pick up. And if you have got a resistance band, grab your resistance band. Or maybe you've got an old pair of socks or old pair of stockings or something around the house that's just got a little bit of pull to it to get it, um, create some resistance for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with my towel exercise. So what I want you to do is just to lay your towel up out on the ground and you're just going to place one foot on the towel and you're going to use your toes to grab and pull the towel towards you. You can feel all these muscles, especially underneath the foot, engaging to crunch up the toes and to pull the towel. Once it gets a bit crunched up, again, just pull it back out, and same thing again. Okay, let's try a few with the other foot as well. Another exercise you can do, grab your marbles or your... Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to use our toes to pick up the marble and then just put it to the side and pick up another. Try it with the other foot as well. So we'll see how you go with that little challenge. Okay, so just, just put my marbles to the side. It's not your marbles, it's my marbles, marbles. Yeah, they're my son's marbles, as he's just told me, reminded me. So thank you for ma making, um, letting me lend them today, Victor. Okay, so um, now we're going to concentrate on um, some of the larger muscles um, in the lower leg, but. Um, keep in mind that these muscles in the tendons actually are the ones that loop around and connect down on the foot as well. Alright, so grab your stretchy band and you're going to place the band underneath the front portion of your foot and then you're going to take it um, both ends to the opposite hand to the foot, give it a bit of a tug and then the other foot angles down. From that position there, you're going to pull the foot up towards you but you're going to leave the heel on the ground. So you're not lifting the foot up, you're leaving the heel on the ground and you're pulling the foot up. So with this movement here, what you're doing is you're engaging this muscle that runs along that shin bone. Okay, so this is where you should be feeling it. And if you're unsure whether that muscle is actually engaging, just put your hand alongside that shin bone and you should feel something pop up and it would be your muscle. Okay. 
So let's do 15 of those, just pulling the toe up. The next one is leave the toe up and without twisting the knee or the hip, you're going to see if you can turn your foot out to the side and back. Turn it out and back. Now sometimes when we don't have that, um, we're unable to engage that muscle, we're a bit weak, what we tend to do is this. See what happens here is that my whole leg is turning to take the foot. So it's the whole leg turning rather than just the foot turning to the side and then all of a sudden I start feeling these muscles engage on the side. So that's what we're trying to do, try to minimise any movement from that knee up. Okay, so again about 15 of those uh, movements as well, so don't forget about the other leg. So place it under, again underneath the front portion of your um, front part of the foot rather than the back or the middle and this will make sure that you have a little bit more resistance and then use the other foot there to anchor. If you find you haven't got enough resistance, take a little bit harder or anchor that foot a little bit closer. Again, leaving the heel on the ground, just pulling that toe up. Feeling the work in the front of that lower leg. These exercises will be really good and help strengthening this ankle joint. And then again, the movement of the foot out and back. Nice and controlled. Trying to not let that hip turn, just the ankle turning the foot away from the midline of the body. Feel this anywhere from there all the way up to that side of that knee. So you can repeat those exercises twice. Um, and like I said, try to work up to doing 15 repetitions of each. But if you find that you're struggling um, after you know six or eight, just stop after that because we don't want that form deteriorating. We want to really um, isolate those muscles. Okay? Um, and also, if you're finding, again, putting any resistance on, you're just um, not being able to do the right technique, just do the same movement with the body weight, okay? And just sort of retrain that muscle to turn on to do that movement for you. Okay, the last thing I'll leave you with today, um, you know, when you're walking around and you be your feet, maybe try some toe walks. So just walking up onto the ball of the foot, and walking around and then when you feel a bit tired just go back down and then again up on the ball of the foot another one you might try is heel walks okay so I said I always tell my participants that we're doing the penguin walk you kind of feel like you're a penguin is that you're going to be on your um, heel of the foot and walking on your heels so when you're doing this all of a sudden you start feeling all the work in the front of that lower leg do a few penguin walks when you get a bit tired, going back to the normal walk. And you might even want to try see if you can do penguin walk walking backwards. Alright, that's um, all from me today team. Take care of yourselves and look. we look forward to um, working with you with our online um, programs starting next week. Take care, have a great day.